Okay, so another, this is another update. Uh, we've just had a twin, uh, which we've got here. <laughs> Mother was a shearling, which means she's never had lambs before, which always presents a bit of a problem because they can be quite wild. It can be hard getting them in the pens. As you can see in our shed, there's quite a lot of room, so you can end up running round after them, trying to capture them, trying to grab hold of them. Um, also, when you're doing an assisted lambing with shearlings, they can be quite tight when you're having to insert your hand, so that can make it difficult, especially when you have a couple of big lambs like these. So these lambs are literally about 15 minutes old. Uh, the black one uh, was backwards way, which meant ideally when you're pulling out a lamb it wants to come with its uh, feet and head first, kind of like it's, it's a hoose under, under its neck, they'll come out easier that way. When they're backwards way, uh, it's that bit harder. Not only are they harder to pull, especially when they're that size, but they can suffocate if they get jammed half when you're halfway through pulling them out. So once you get the legs out, you've got to get them out fast, where when they come in the right way around, which is head first, you've got a bit more leeway. It also tends to shock the lamb a bit more when they've been pulled backwards way. It's just a bit more stressful. It shoves all their internal organs t um, towards the head because they they're being squeezed as they're being pulled out. They're, they're just a bit more shocked when they come out, so it's just that bit harder to revive them. Luckily, so, uh, this has turned out good. As you can see, for a new mother, she's pretty feisty as this one. <laughs> one, girl. So yeah, uh, another good lambing. If they all end, out, end up like that, it'll be an easy job. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, so I'll see you later, bye.